God damn it, JP. I love Fridays. I, let me tell you how much I love Fridays. Not only is it the start of the weekend where I know all the gaming happens, but we also get to do 8 Vix. Talking about all the video game news, rounding up uh, for the week, just, you know, kicking back and uh, chatting about uh, the things that we love. Video games. I'm DJ Wheat, joined as always by Emmy JP, buddy. What is up? Not too much, man. Uh, as usual, a little bit on the uh, need more sleep side because uh, I was up too late playing Batman Arkham Origins last night. But it was worth it. We this game's great. Okay. So that's good. That's so it's good. good. It's good. That's good. I'm also glad it's Friday. I'm also glad that it's not the start of. I have like this break in between shows this week because I have no. There's no Dark Heresy this week, so right. I can do whatever the fuck I want tomorrow, and I'm very excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's nice to be able to yeah just uh not worry play whatever you want and uh yeah. do that for like 12 hours yep one... and it's also one day closer uh to the launch of battlefield 4 which i'm super yep. excited about yep uh, uh jp it's it's um it's almost it's almost annoying i've been wanting to play it really really bad really you've been jump i didn't think you were going to be that that addicted to it yep i'm I can't wait for it, man. I can't wait. I'm I'm ready for it. I don't know what else to say. I mean, we I actually added it to the uh, what we've been playing, you know, because I just have been <laughs> mad fiending for BF4. Huh. Yeah. Huh. So I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Now you're gonna do what? Uh, that, uh, maybe 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 we just jump right into it. What are you doing on uh, next I, week? So like, what are I'm all the plans? To... I've like asked everyone. I'm like hitting up people at Twitch. I've like asked my my EA contacts. I'm like, hey guys, when does this game actually go live? And they're like, uh, we'll get back to you. What? Like, I can't figure out when it actually goes live. So I think it goes live midnight Eastern. I think. Okay. So if it goes live midnight Eastern, I'll be live from eleven o'clock, or I'll be live from midnight Eastern, eleven fifty nine Monday night to eleven fifty nine Tuesday night go the whole 24 hours yeah and i don't know how that i haven't done a 24-hour stream i've definitely stayed up for 24 hours that's not a, a problem but i've never done it while playing an fps or, or a competitive fps to say the least so either by the end of that i'm going to be swearing like a sailor which you isn't too out of the be. ordinary or i'll just be like super agitated by like the dumbest shit in the game which well, actually is also true it's not out of the ordinary you'll also be like level 500 so it won't matter. You know, you'll have unlocked Maybe. everything. It'll be great. Maybe. It'll be I great. still have never unlocked everything in the in Battlefield 3. It takes a while to do all that shit, man. I only got to, like, level 25 or 26. Or no, I hit, like, I think I'm, like, 33 in that game now, but. Wow. That's still, it it still takes a while, a man. Lot, huh? Yeah. yeah. How much? I, I put 25 hours into the beta. I didn't even realize that was that much time. Uh, I probably put in half of that, JP. I don't, I think maybe I hit maybe like 10 to 12. Okay. And what level did you hit? Uh, six. I think they had the leveling, um, the points required for each level, uh, like boosted up. So people wouldn't just hit By 10 the, right away. Okay. For the beta, yeah. Just for the beta, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that. If it's that slow for launch, then that's going to be real crazy. Because it was really slow to get to 10. I have no idea. I I, so. I I don't even... I can't really even speak to what it was like in BF3. I mean, if you played how many hours in BF3 and you made it how far? Uh, Let's... I think Origin tells... So Origin says I have 31 hours played of Battlefield 3, so which doesn't, doesn't like... actually – that's not right at all. That might just be since I've reinstalled Origin, so which the... was about six months ago. So It's not a not like a billion-hour in, you know, investment, but you still put yeah, in a good amount. You, you can definitely grind it out. I mean, of course, it, it depends on how well you're doing in those games if you're – I usually played a lot of uh, Sniper or the Recon class, so like I wasn't a huge point person each game. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you were that but guy. if you play, if you play like Medic and just go like guns blazing into every fight, you can usually get about 10k per game. 
uh, and rank up pretty quick. So, well, I'm excited. I can't wait, man. Uh, yeah. So Tuesday, I want to play those new maps. Tuesday, are have, did it? Have they uh, announced like any sort of a preload? If you have the, because I imagine you the can preload uh, 24 hours prior. Prior, okay. To it launching, yeah. So Monday or Sunday evening at midnight, I think, is when the preload will unlock. Okay. Oh man, I I I, I had so much fun. Just I think. I've been wanting an FPS to play, JP. You know, there's been a few other free-to-plays that haven't really tripped my trigger at all. And I know it's yeah. not a Quake, and it's not... But I feel like having not spent that much time in Battlefield, I really just had a fucking blast in, in the beta. It's good, so man. It's good it fun. Is. It is. Um, so I, I, I can't wait, man. Uh, I it's the type wait. of game that'll never be competitive on a large scale. But it's always going to be fun to jump in with your friends and fucking shoot some shit. Always. Always. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much how it was um, How it was the entire time like that we were actually playing. So, definitely. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Monday evening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to like do all the special stuff. I've got a plan where I'm going to stay up real late on Sunday and then try to sleep in as much as I can Monday. And knowing me, I'll probably wake up to, like, the gardeners or something Monday morning at, like, 9 a.m. Just be wired, not able to sleep. Not able to sleep, yeah. Pull a 36-hour shift. Oh, God. It's going to happen, JP. You know that it's going to happen, right? It'll be a lot of good. We a Special announcement. All right. I follow uh, Cheap Ass Gamer on, yep. on the Twitter. Video, at Video Game Deals. They're good, good people to follow. Uh, Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons is six dollars using this code that they just tweeted. So, is that if you guys want Steam? a good deal on a great game? Uh, yes, I believe so. Right, Let's check it out. Yeah, I would definitely pay six bucks for that game. Yep, it is uh fifty percent off right now, and if you use a twenty five percent off code, you can get it for six dollars. So that's over at GreenManGaming.com is where that that deal's happening. Very nice. I love love me. Some Anyways, TV. what have you been playing, man? Well, where do I start? I got to start with uh, last Sunday. Um, I fired up Skylanders Swap Force with the Mini Wheat. Yeah. And, you know, like, I, I, I mean, first off, I kind of want to talk about the fact that you, I hope that the guy that came up with this idea, right? Because <laughs> I imagine he's some 24 <laughs> year old who's like, I, I make, you know, let's take Spiral the Dragon and make a couple of characters based off this and create and use this chip technology. He better be, he better be fucking driving the most baller ass car, living in the most pimp ass house, um, yeah. swims in money, because that's what's happening here with Skylanders. Like, the the print the money printing potential that is happening in this game is is I mean it's just it's mind blowing and I was one of the guys that thought you know what Disney Infinity is probably gonna shit all over Skylanders like you know I mean it's Disney right <laughs> but right. honestly I don't think they have it's not Disney Infinity that my kid is constantly like yo we. <laughs> We got to get on this shit. It's actually the Skylander stuff. And I don't know because they were the first ones on the they market. Yeah. yeah. They were it, the first. They kind of have that ingrained, I think, in a lot of people's heads. Right. Where when you think kind of that type of thing where you have the portal or whatever, right. Skylanders did it first. So I don't I don't have, like, the game active or anything. I, I've posted a couple videos of me and him playing over on YouTube.com slash DJ Wheat. But just so that people know, the technology behind it is that you have this thing. They call it the portal of power. And you plug it into it's your— It's pretty cool. It, it, dude, it's, it's badass, right? So it lights up and it changes colors and shit. And this is the new portal where you can put, like, multiple characters on it. Um, yeah. So when you put these characters on, they have little chips inside of them. And, and, and it saves data to the chips, too. So we uh, he started playing over on our main TV where we have a P the, one of the new PS3s. And then we streamed over here on my other one. No cloud save, nothing. We started from the beginning, but all the progress he had made with the Skylanders just saved directly to his. Yeah, so he could just take his, like, chip. super badass, you know, hook dude and, and just take it to his buddy house and like plop it down and be be awesome you know and, and good to go it's um you know it's a very simple puzzle platformer jp 
it's it's nice to be able to hack and it's it's literally the kids hack and slash with some Diablo yeah. loot thrown in. But you can imagine, man, they're getting them started early. Um, so <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. And the new one actually looks good too, graphically. Like they, I think they gave the what is it? Switch Force is that the name of it? Swap Force is the new one. And Swap so, Force. They gave it to a new dev, and I believe it's on a new engine. It looks a lot better it, than the it, other games. Uh, frankly, the game looks great. You know, if you've ever were a fan of like the Ratchet and Clank style of games, that's it's it has sort of that feel. Maybe not the same level of shine and polish, but uh -huh. it, it has a very like cartoony Pixar-esque look to it, which, you know, right. makes it appealing to play. It wasn't anything where I'm just like, God, when is this going to end? Like, <laughs> please. For... But the new thing about the swap force, which is pretty cool, is that the characters split in half, and then yep. you can combine them with each other. So the nice thing about that is that you get a little bit of legs, right? You're not just making a purchase for seven bucks and you get a figure. You you buy one of these figures, you like swap them, you can create like a ton of different combinations. So I don't know, I that mean, game's a little devious, man. I, I watched uh, I don't know where it was, but I, I watched a good 40, 50 minute long video of people just playing it, and the first level there are like alternate pathways that you yeah. can only access if you have like a fire, uh, I don't know, fire water right, guy. Right, right. And if you don't have that guy, then the kids are it's like, well, why can't I go that way? Yep. And then they go scream at the parents and they're like, well, we got to go buy this shit. You're right. Yeah, JP, and then it's dirty. The cartoons, they have that graph where it's like showing you all the different combinations that you've done. So there's like 256 combinations, I think, that you can have. Mm hmm. Fuck, we, that's a lot of money. Dude, so, JP, it's over a thousand bucks, I think, for get everything. Get this. We're playing. I'm playing with Mini Wii, and I'm like, well, oh, let's. Here's one of the, you know, one of the paths we can go. He's like, no. He goes, that one's not even out yet. And I'm like, Jesus. what? Wait a second. So, like, first level or <laughs> second level of the game, second chapter, there's a fork in the road, and it's got one of those, like, water fires, and then it's got, and, and it's not out. It, like, the actual Skylander that can get through it is not even available yet like oh, that's man. that's kind of insane however uh you know no hookers no headshots no fuck that's true it's no, all good you fun. know so in this day and age in gaming uh to get them <laughs> interested in something like that is is fantastic so uh now do you guys take them out of the boxes or do you do you leave them in the box? Because you can put them on the portal in the box. I didn't know that, and I, you know, like he's eight. But you probably couldn't swap them, actually. You couldn't yeah, you swap couldn't the... swap them. But I mean, yeah. like Mini Wheat's eight, right? Like he doesn't, he doesn't appreciate the concept of having a Skylander like in, as a collectible. However, I do have a couple figures that I've collected where I've gotten multiples when I've come back from trade shows, and we have yeah. kept those. So. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. We've got like golden hot dog and all these weird. Do you go on Spyro and shit? On a, say on a Sunday afternoon, do you wrangle up Mini Wheat and be like, Mini Wheat, let's go Skylander hunting, and you you go hit up all the stores to find the rare ones? I I don't, but you know, want to know what's so funny is that I've run into these moms before. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't remember. Maybe they, get, it was, they get vicious, man. It was for, I think, like, they were running a promotion where if you pre-ordered Swap Force, then you got something right then and there, and it was, like, an exclusive Skylanders. And this, like, mm. crazy mom comes in, JP. She's like... Do you have do you have any more of <laughs> two four one two? I need two four one. It's the silver Spyro. Do you have any, any you know? And she, um, yeah, you're gonna you need to pre. Just yeah, it, it was it was. I was a little scared. I shuffled. GameStop many loves out those people, man. Oh man, they get those moms. They get them to pre-order everything. So, I, I mean, what do you you said? It was a little dirty, and it and it kind of is. But I mean, like, what well, do you, what do you think about these? Because it, it's still, like, such a cool technology, right? Yeah, like, it, we'd, if I had these things as a kid, I'd be playing them all day. Like, I, I think that's the coolest technology to to be able to, like, just put it on that portal for no more than half a second, and it instantly recognizes what is going on and jumps into your game. Like, as a kid, well, hell, even as, like, a, hell, I think I'm 27. Even as a 27-year-old, I look at that, I'm like, that's fucking amazing technology. Like, that is rad as shit that they can do right? that. And then that it saves everything on the top half of the, the Skylander, and you can, like, 
take your Skylanders over to your friend's house if he has the game and you can play with your Skylanders with his Skylanders and all this shit. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I would have loved this I've shit. I've thought about buying it. I've actually thought about buying it and playing it, but I, I haven't I don't want to go down that path we that is a money spending uh, yeah, adventure is, and I don't want to take a part in right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it, you know, it's just uh it, if I was young, I would be all over the shit if there happens to be any other parents that are still, you know, I mini we started playing Skylanders around 4 or 5. And it, it's a simple enough game that you can play it with a 4 or 5 year old and mm-hmm. Um, you know, the nice thing about it too, is like, as you're completing stages, if you suck, then you can just keep taking your Skylanders off and putting new ones on and you right. like never die. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good for kids. I enjoyed it. Um, this, this Sunday though, uh, we're going to play Lego Marvel superheroes, which I'm actually Ooh. stoked about because that game, what, com- what, uh, you playing that? PS3? Yeah, we're going to play it on the PS3 and we're going to stream it. So I thought about getting into the... I still haven't played a Lego game, but I don't know. You know There's what? too many other games coming out. If you're going to get into them, like, honestly, all the old ones are really awesome, but I think Lego Batman 2 um, yeah. and and uh, and then probably uh, what was the other Marvel one they did? Didn't they do another? Oh, DC Heroes maybe? But I, I don't know. They have like that's where they start talking. Oh. Uh, and it like really. Like real, instead of the gibberish? Yeah, instead of the gibberish or just the like pantomiming. Like, I, I always loved the Lego games because I would frankly just go, like, God, it's amazing graphically what these people are doing with this stuff. Like, it <laughs> looks incredible. But it, it's hard <laughs> to. It's hard to enjoy like that. Now, I mean, when they talk, like, there's some funny, there's some really funny shit, JP. Like, it, it, it definitely ups it on terms of the, like, I can tolerate this a lot more uh, uh, because the voices are in it. So, if you're going to try for one, dude, I think Lego Batman 2 is a great, great place to start. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe so. Well, maybe, you have, maybe you have Lego, uh, you have a Wii U, dude. Lego City Underground is fucking, like, GTA Legos. It's unbelievable. Really? Oh my God! Is it coming out for uh, like PS4, or Xbox One stuff? I don't think so, actually. Yeah, Lego City Undercovers. Well, I just mean like a Lego. Isn't I think like the Lego Marvel Heroes or oh, whatever yeah. is coming oh, out. Oh, I'm sorry. I just Lego City Undercover is a Wii U exclusive, but all the other ones, yeah, they're out on fucking okay. everything these days. Maybe maybe I'll get maybe I'll have my first four way or four way. Uh, <laughs> Go JV. <laughs> Maybe I'll fucking get into the goddamn the Lego cats. thing in the next gen week, and with the four way, cause fuck it, right? <laughs> fuck it. You get down with the get down, wheat. I'm with it. I'm with it. That's how you do so it. So anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Lego Marvel superheroes. It came out Tuesday, um, but I think it arrives today. So that's pretty you? good. Maybe I'll you? play it. Sure. Uh, well, we'll start. We'll start with. Uh, I, I've continued my playthrough <clears throat> of Metro Last Light, uh, and once again, just continue to be impressed by that game. Uh, it is getting a little weird in the story department, only because I, I have moments where I'm just like, what, what the fuck is going on in this game? Like, what is actually? I'm really confused, and I'm near the end of the game. I think I only have like an hour or two left. Um, but the game's based around, uh, this experience with this, I think they're aliens. I'm not too sure. I didn't play the first Metro, so I don't really know the, what, what they're supposed to be, but they're called the dark ones. Mm -hmm. And there's like only this one dark one left, I think. And he's this little kid basically. And he speaks to you telepathically from what I can tell. Uh, but he's like following you around at the end of the game, or at least where I am at and like helping you do stuff. And I don't understand why or what like I don't know if I missed the story and I just didn't pay attention to the dialogue from the characters or what but I'm a little bit lost right now um, huh. but what is keeping me uh, playing the game is just the the graphics man they are incredible someone in chat just said they wish their PC was good enough to play this game dude it is a like it is a beast when it comes to stressing your software or stressing your hardware, sorry. Uh, it at its best when you go up onto kind of the um, 
game takes place in like post-apocalyptic uh, Europe, Russia, whatever. And uh, when you go up onto the surface, there's a lot of radiation and stuff. Right. And those environments are so incredibly well, like, are so incredibly well done. They they look so good in motion. I mean, just uh, the, the lighting is incredible. Look incredible. So I dude, mean... it it's the best. It's I can say it is the best looking game that I played on a PC, hands down. Hmm. Um, everyone wears gas masks up top, and they do this really cool effect where, uh, like the more damn, it's kind of like in uh, what was that game Outlast? You know, your camera shattered. Yeah, this game went on. Uh, as you take damage and and get shot or blood or or water, wow. it like hits your mask. And uh, if you press G, like just tap it, he like wipes his mask off. And like that effect, while so subtle, is one of the coolest things I've seen in games. Like they got the sound perfectly right. It sounds like you're wearing a mask and someone's like hitting the front of it and wiping it down. Uh, the gunplay awesome. is is all right. It, it's nothing to. to I mean, it's it's good gunplay. Like there's nothing remarkable about it. But it's really I, I just keep playing going from set piece to set how piece because of how well it looks have you played like how how long has the game been i'm so about long? i'm about nine ten hours in okay is it pretty straightforward uh, in terms of a shooter like in i suppose yeah, you're not yeah. like it, it's not rewriting the book on on linear uh, fps stories or anything like that any um, stealth you you can play the game stealth like it works or uh, the game uh, really works around like the light mechanic. Um, in fact, on your left hand in the game, it has this little blue light, and when it's blue, then you're in the light, um, and you can shoot any light in the game and turn it out, and you can walk up to lamps and like turn them off and stuff. You can play stealth, um, but I just go in guns blazing most of the time. I don't want to deal with any of that shit. I'm with <laughs> so you. I just I just shoot everyone. Um, so I don't know it. I I. Just I want to see what else that game can offer, like graphically. So that's I'll probably finish it today or tomorrow. Um, I don't really know if there's there's much else I could say about it other than it it looks incredible. There there's a <clears throat> I think there's a benchmark that you can download for free. That I'm not will let too you sure. See if it'll even. Yeah, because I I pull in the benchmark I'm scoring like 38 FPS, and that's with everything on max with a 780 and an overclocked 2600K. So. It's a pretty decent rig, uh, bordering on like high end rig, but it still gets shit on by that game. <laughs> wow. wow. <clears throat> and it looks great. It I, I cannot preach how good that game looks. There there are also moments in that game where it is scary as shit, we like they do this mechanic where you enter a room or you enter like a, a certain hallway or, or metro line and your flashlight and your night vision just don't work. For whatever reason. Great. Just what and I want. You're like walking through spider webs with your mask on, and then like these giants, these like not giant spiders, but these spiders that are probably like, I don't know, nine or ten inches in real life are like crawling upwards on your mask and freaking you the fuck out. And they do they do stuff with like lighting that is really crazy. I mean, this sounds like a fucking fantastic game then. It's a great game. I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Interesting. I don't, I, it's one of those games where I wish I could stream at 1080p 60, so people could see like how, how good it really it looks. Actually, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, I, I stream at 720p 60 at a high bit rate. It does a pretty good job, but it's it's still not 1080p, you know. So. Right. Yeah. That, well. So if you haven't played, you are you're kind <laughs> of. Uh, I I don't know why I passed over this one, right? Because uh, I like the first one. Um, I never played the first one. So. My brother played the first one. He said it was good. You've He's got been watching my... me play the second one. He's like, I want to play that now. <laughs> damn it. You've got, damn it, JP. What, what video on, card do you a, have? I have a 680. Okay, yeah, you could probably run it pretty pretty well. It was on all the consoles, if that's what you were going to ask. Nah, I, uh, I, I can't listen to you preach about how good it looks on the PC and expect to fucking get that out of the fucking console version. I just can't. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's right, true. so I don't even think it's full price anymore. I don't know how much it is. It's probably like thirty, forty. It's been out for a while. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to. I'll, I bet you that will definitely hit sale status very soon. So. Oh yeah, definitely. It'll it'll be up uh, for 
what's it called? Uh, Black Friday. You could f definitely find sales on it. Wow. Um, you reading this PS4? I am. I am. We got to, you know, like this is this is how the show works, guys. Uh, yeah. So this was just posted by the folks in chat. And they're talking about system software update 1.5 that'll launch simultaneously on November 15th. Now, okay, so it's just so great. This is awesome. So it means remote play. This is basically what this means is this shit's available at launch, right? Yeah. Remote play. Great. Second screen, users can link... And PlayStation app for iPhone, iPad. Oh my God, I'm in. That's probably for like I can already tell you the second screen stuff will be used in Battlefield Four right off the bat to show that oh. map thing like they do in Battle Log. Yeah, but I'm gonna play that shit on PC where it should be played. You can still do it though. You can still yeah. boot up the <clears throat> the PlayStation app or sorry the Battle Log app probably. Um, record, take screenshots, and upload gameplay effortlessly. Yeah. We'll see how effortlessly that actually yeah. is. They Broad say that, but it... Broadcast and spectate. Sweet. Look at that. Twitch is on there. I've never heard of this Ustream thing. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Plays you download. Nothing big. Multi-login. Uh, face recognition. <laughs> Online, yeah, I really... Multiplayer, JP. <clears throat> the next generation. Yeah. Ah. I really think that at this point, and, and we'll get into this in the news section, but at this point, like, PlayStation could put out a video of someone taking a shit, and they'd be like, oh, God, the PS4 is the savior of video games. Like, <laughs> people are going crazy right now in the whole console war thing. They are. And, like, anything, like, th there are some crazy threads on the EGF, like, the PS4 cam ad campaign's the best one in video games, and we're just like, Jesus, guys, like, you gotta calm down with this hype, man. You gotta calm We've down. We've got hype coming out of our assholes. It's great. We love <laughs> yeah. it. But we're gonna talk yeah. a little bit more about that too, because there's some other news that pertains to some things going on. But let's let's uh, let's get back to to what we've been playing. Um, I'll uh, so. Uh, what what do I wanna of these two? So yeah, I uh I got a couple mobile releases I I played and and covered this week. Dead Trigger Two, which is like a zombie uh survival game where you craft new weapons and you just fucking kill zombies over and over. God, sounds dude, good. it you know it sounds good and the engine's really great. It's like just kind of a grindy game, but the yeah. fucking engine is unbelievable. Like it's just crazy what these guys do with free games, and that's the thing. It's a free game. Uh, really? I made videos about both these games over on uh, YouTube.com/slash DJ Wheat. But yeah, it's a free game, uh, and and you know it uses like obviously a system that's going to make you grind for gold, so you can build that fucking M4, and then you can upgrade Wait, it and shit like this that. This looks like. It's like Call of Duty on current gen. What the hell? I, dude, I'm telling you, Dead Trigger 2. Um, it's out for both iOS and Android. Is this an on-rails shooter, or do you actually have movement so, control? So, no, you have movement control. Um, I'm trying to find their actual web page. That looks there nuts. It is. Graphic games. Um, it's pretty cool. Look, uh, you know, I can play like my own video, right? Guy. Can't I? <laughs> <laughs> I can, like, play... Uh, and, yeah, you can totally play your uh, own video. So, um, let's see. Uh, it's, I mean, like you said, it's it's just kind of like really Im impressive in terms of what it can push on. I think uh, for Android, you have to have a, is it, uh, and excuse me because I'm like an Android nub, but like it's a Tetra. You have to have a Tetra supported device. Yeah, which I think is. Got to be able to play Tetris. Is that what you're telling me? Tetra, Reed? Tetra. Um, so the way it works, JP, is like they have a lot of the same maps that you're going to go through over and over. Um, but then you uh, you have a storyline, and then you also have uh, like a line where you are 
um, doing different missions like defending the base or just an assault where you have to kill, uh, you know, 30 zombies or you have to find and escort this guy and bring him back. So it does try to mix it up a little bit with, uh, you know, it's like different scenarios that it's going to enter you into. But and this is on a tablet, right? So it's got a virtual stick and then they've got a new aim mechanic where it basically shoots as you aim. Right, so you can play this really lazy if you want to, JP. Uh, Where I just kind of like move my hand around and yes, shoot people. Yes, exactly. And you know what? It's hell of a lot of fun, especially as you get into some of the more powerful weapons later on. Um, well, it looks fantastic. Like if you told me that was a shitty looking Xbox 360 game, I or like a PS3 or Xbox 360 game, I'd probably believe you. <laughs> like, yeah, it looks really good for I mean, a. Uh, for a mobile game. And someone says uh, zombie mode Call of Duty ripoff, and it's actually not, right? It, it, you could say that it was inspired by Call of Duty Zombies, but I've played a fuckload of Call of Duty Zombies, and I love Call of Duty <laughs> Zombies. And, and you know, like, the gameplay is very different. In this one, you are collecting weapons. You are upgrading your weapons. It's not just a buy what's on the wall, spin the random box, and hope that you get, you know, the, the fucking ray gun. It's, it's not... It, it, it's it's definitely more of a um, of sort of a pl play through the scenarios, earn money, upgrade your weapons, continue to play through the scenarios. So because of that, JP, it's gonna get a little fucking old, right? So, <laughs> yeah, sure. But it's free. It's worth checking out. It's kind of fun just to like shoot some zombies. They put you in some pretty crazy shit. This is all like very early on in the game, but it gets pretty wacky near the end. Hmm. Um. Yeah, so that's uh that's my one mobile game this week. And then the other one is Hello Hero, which I saw so much at fucking was at PAX, dude. Like this game was all over PAX. And have you played a Puzzles and Dragons game before or know the the like type uh, of gameplay? I I know what they are in terms of as they exist, but I don't know what they really are. Like so I I don't know what it is. Let me explain, like, the Puzzles and Dragons gameplay real quick first. I know but, they make about $2 million a day. Yes, they make so much fucking money. And here's how <laughs> the game works, right? So I am, like, imagine a trainer. And I get these creatures. And the creatures have rarities that range from common to, like, super fucking legendary and rare. And yeah. um, and you go through these dungeons and you battle and each character has like a different affinity. And so as you match red, you know, all your red characters gain attack and then they attack a, a monster. So as you're playing this puzzle, the creatures that you're leveling up are then doing damage to monsters. And it's just okay. all the mechanic that works like this. But okay. every like so many games now are taking this mechanic where you gain creatures, you upgrade them, and then you have them battle in some way, shape, or form. Whether that be like the puzzle type, like Puzzles and Dragons. Recently, there's a Dungeons and Dragons game that came out where you like you like slide your characters around and make them like fight in this weird sort of pinball way. And this one decides that it wants to take the whole concept of RPG boss battles and turn okay. it into a build your character up and go. So it's pretty much a lot easier to uh, describe once you actually see the the, the video. Uh, but here's my party, and you basically have all of your uh, skills down at the bottom, bottom, and then you have like a global cooldown, and uh, you just like you know, hit, hit Tap skills away. and go, right. So like you go through these different sections and then you fight a boss at the end, you earn gold. And then like outside of these levels, then you can, you can like level up your characters. I, God damn it, JP. I don't know why I fucking play these games. Like they're, <laughs> ju they just get, they get addictive. And even though this game lacks a little bit of polish, it has a lot of charm. And uh, it's God fuck these games, JP. Seriously. It looks like it looks like a Final Fantasy remake done well. And so there's like 150 different of these guys that you can earn in your party. And again, of the they're little all chibi like, guys. Of the little chibi guys, yeah. And 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 you know you unlock them, and there's a lot like you'll everything that you fight up against is something that you can unlock and put in your party as well. 
But these games, they're I don't I can't even tell you. Like if you put a gun to my head, JP, and go, damn it, Wheat, <laughs> why do you like them? And you know, it it like tickles that itch of like, I wanna progress. I wanna make big badass character, you know? I Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there I, I just you. got a tree. So I just earned a monster by you can winning. share it. We put, post that shit on Facebook. No, son. I didn't. Did not do that. So you go can through you get there. The giant there's dragon. My, oh, there's my part. What? You can get all sorts of shit. Yeah. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to get all sorts of crazy stuff. So. So it looks like it's actually a better Pokemon. Is what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> but there's not the the thing about this is like you're not it, like kept, yeah. You yeah. make the argument that like Pokemon has a story, right? You're actually playing like this has no fucking story. Like Pokemon it, has a story. We seriously, well, dude, listen. I think you're. I think in Hello Hero, hold on. In Hello Hero, you're actually trying to find Hardium or something like that. Something, some silly ass, like Hardium. Okay. Hardium. I'm in. Yeah, I want some Hardium. I want a party. Right. Like that's what I know about the story. <laughs> and then there's these guys, and there's cupcakes that you battle. Nice. So. I still haven't played any. You know, last week I was talking about how I was going to play Pokemon. I haven't touched it. It's still sitting right behind me on the floor, charging out of my wall. GP, you know what? Like, at the end of the year, moved. I think... I got to just stop buying fucking 3DS games, man. Oh, I but stop. you bought it digitally, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn it. Okay. Why? Because you can't burn a digital good. I mean, I can burn the 3DS. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you're... Hear what I'm spitting. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you could. I, you could I won't a, stop you. You could light a 3DS on fire. We'd. I'm just saying. I won't. Put some gasoline you. on that shit. It'll burn. It will. It'll burn right <laughs> up. Oh god! I need to. I need to like. Maybe I should just fucking hire like a cab service just to drive me everywhere. So I actually like, oh, this is a good time to play my 3DS. I might need to work. I haven't played it at all. I need to take me to the grocery store and I want you to go the long <laughs> way. Yeah, it's like two blocks up. He spends two hours. I was like, God, that was a great drive. Thanks. Appreciate <laughs> it. You won't believe how many Pokemon I caught while we were driving. Dude, someone tweeted, I think it was uh, Justin Wong oh, tweeted God. Like two days ago. It's like I have my I've got 598 Pokemon. He's a I'm like, beast. It's like how what the fuck? How do you have that yeah. much time? Yeah. I thought that takes like a year. Like well, how long? You know what? When you're the fucking best at Street Fighter, I bet if you ply yeah. yourself and go, well, oh, how can I totally rock the you shit out like of Pokemon? You're just like, yeah, his brain is like. I gotta go to this city to capture this Pokemon at this certain time of day. He and made that Pokemon with that Pokemon, so it evolves into this Pokemon. <laughs> That's insanity, man. That the best insane. part is, you know, Justin's definitely a, a very good gamer. I'm not going to take that away from him. There's probably a six-year-old out there who already had it the second day. <laughs> Some six- or seven-year-old that just you know got, there that, is. got those 600 Pokemon. You know there is. Right off the bat. All I haven't right. played in Pokemon yet. You got anything uh, else? Uh well you I want to talk Dota too. How, you've been playing uh, it right? What what sparked that interest? Just the patch? I I I don't know. The patch came after. You know, for, I, honestly, I think it was just kind of so. The real story, right, is that yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Lebo Xenocider was supposed to be on Kings of Ten. Yeah. And so Wax Steve and I have always talked about. Well, you know, like it'd be nice if we did other games on Kings of Ten, and we we, we always said like. We really should do Dota because that's like truly I have no fucking idea how to play that game. So it would really yeah. be a fun game to do on Kings of Ten. So we did it that night, and I don't know what it was, JP, because you know, I've 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 played it before and it didn't quite click in my head and it just clicks differently now. I think like <laughs> because I already went into the game knowing what I personally didn't like about it, and I don't mean like what I mean is like the feel of it, right? Because there you have to get used to the different attack speeds and the animations and the way the heroes turn around and the, right. the way the the jungle and the map works, etc. Um, and I think I went into it knowing, well, I know I I know this shit exists and I know that I had trouble with it the first time, so I'll try to embrace it a little bit more. And when I mm -hmm. did that, I just got a shitload of enjoyment out of the game. So I can't really explain it, but I. I, you know, 
I, fuck, I've just been, I've just been having a blast. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll jump in. Uh, I'm trying to think. So next time you tweet that, I'll I'll see what I'm doing. I might play. I haven't played Dota two in a while. I used to consider myself a Dota one aficionado. Dude. Let's do it. Which Let's sucks. Play and I think that. How about I think tomorrow? That, uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. We could definitely do it. Maybe. Yeah. I'll have to tear myself away from Batman, but we. Oh could. right, right. Okay. Well, my, if you want to take my, it, right. My thing with with Dota is that I used to be, in my mind, like I used to be really good at Dota, right? And now when I play Dota two, all of that, whatever it was, comes into play. And I'm not that good at Dota now. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's that effect of like knowing that you're supposed to be good because you know a lot about this game, but then actually being terrible right. at it. Right. And it's real. It's one of the most frustrating things in video games. I, I could imagine. I mean, fucking the game's not easy, dude. It literally yeah, it not. is the Dark Souls of MOBA. But I mean, it but is. But there, there is no better feeling than going like 13 and 0 in a game and fucking feeling like King Ding Dong at the end of a Dota 2 match. That There's no like, better feeling than that. I went like 6-1-6 and you probably had the best day of your life. I fuck man. I felt <laughs> I felt amazing. I was like, Then oh my the worst God. part about that is the next you never have two good games in a row. You never have two good games in a row week cuz the next game you probably went 0 and 10 and fucking hated dota yeah, 2 for the rest and they of the just day got shat on but that's the thing is like i have not really i get uh, like other games jp i get mad at myself and like i have gotten mad at you know but yeah i don't know like the losses i guess i'm just i'm so over it i'm just like yeah whatever god yeah. dude some of my most infuriated moments of video gaming come from playing dota 1 with my friends if there were recordings of those matches and ventrilo wheat, <laughs> I'd be doomed. Oh shit! I, I've had some ep. I've, I've. That's the only game where I've broken uh, like uh, mice and keyboards before. And it was dumb shit. It was like I was in the jungle in Dota One as Juggernaut, and like I was trying to ult this guy, but I couldn't do it, and <clears throat> my team didn't like follow me up a river into their forest. And so, like, I went to ult this guy, and I just ulted him and then died immediately, and I slammed my fucking mouse down. I was like, <laughs> where the fuck were you guys? What are you doing? They broke it at 10,000 like, people. Yeah, they were just like, dude, we told you not to go across. I was like, fuck that. You <laughs> I just went off. So I need to play that. I need to – maybe I'll play that tomorrow. Let me know and when you know you're what playing. The new... Yeah, you should. I mean, the new patch makes it a lot of fun. It changes things up. People still figuring stuff out. It's not like I knew enough about the old patch. So um, it, it's a kind of it, – it comes at a perfect time for me. But yeah. um, a lot of people really happy about the patch and, and just sort of seeing where it's going to go. But I'm having fun. Yeah. I'm having fun. And thanks to all cool. the people who have been playing with me. It's been it's been a blast. So. Well, the the I guess the last game, the most recent game that I've been playing, uh, came out last night. Launch day is today. That's uh, Batman: Arkham Origins. Uh, and you actually had this in your, you had this last week in your what I've been playing. What was that about? Yeah, remember I talked about the. Didn't I talk about the iOS game? Oh, yeah, no, I don't yeah. think you did. But I remember now. I know. Yeah. I think you told me that off stream or something like that. Oh, I thought I, um, I thought I had. Yeah. Uh, I, that look, I, I love the Batman games. I played uh, Batman Arkham Asylum uh, actually about a year or so after it came out. Um, and then Arkham City, when that came out, I think it was that last year or the year prior? I think it was the I year think prior. I think it was the year prior, yeah. I, think I it's played that at Christmas. Longer. I remember going home and I bought a, a laptop uh, oh, hell for yeah. a week and a half and played that on my TV and then returned the laptop when I left town, which is kind of sleazeball, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> but I, I love that scumbag game. Scumbag JP! Uh, yeah, <laughs> scumbag JP. Uh, look, man, Asus makes some fine products to own for about a week and a half. Anyways, <laughs> I love that those games always have, like, I know when it's Christmas or approaching Christmas time because a Batman game is coming out because for some reason they're always centered around Christmas time. Or they always have snow in them and, like, make me feel yeah, like you're it's right. that time of the that's year, right? right? That's right. Um, so, long story short, like, this is not a new take on the Batman formula. It's it's not innovative. There's nothing 
knew about this game in terms of what you're what you should expect. But what it does do well is I I assume that they just gave all of the assets, Rock City gave all the assets from Arkham City to Warner Brothers or Warner Brothers Studios Montreal. It was like here, here you go, make a Batman game and they ran with it. And it's awesome. The combat is still the best combat when it comes to these type of games. It's fluid, it's fast, it I'm playing on hard. Have you ever played a Batman game like that on hard wheat? Well, um, it's no, tough. No, I it's haven't. really tough. What? Th this can't be the screenshot. I think you're looking at the iOS game. Wait, but wait, oh no, that that's actually an ability. I think that that. What? Little... This looks like shit. This can't be right. What am I looking at? I don't know what you're looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at either, dude. <laughs> what? Those screenshots are. That's definitely like the iOS thing. It looks like a Vita version or something. Yeah, that's probably a 3DS Vita oh, version. Black, that's what that is. Blackgate. Arkham yeah. Arkham. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is that out yet? Yeah, I think it. I think it came oh. out today. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's any good or not. I don't but... know why it's showing that. Yeah. Is it? Uh, the story in this is that, is that it's a prequel to all the other Batman games, uh, Batman Asylum, and then of course Batman Arkham City. Um, and one thing that it is doing really well is that it stays kind of like grounded, I guess. There's no like supernatural or like genetically. I, I guess there's Bane in this, but I haven't seen what right. he actually does. Like, there's no poison ivies or right. Or it, it's like a whole. Like, it's like a whole cast of sort of of like C-list characters, yeah. basically. Yeah. Or, or I guess B-list, really. But um, we I got to tell you, the first big fight of the game is my best Batman boss fight ever in the entire trilogy. Like really it, it is incredible, man. They tie it with some amazing, like hell March ish music from command and conquer. And most of the boss fights always stay kind of like the same, right. And all the other Batman games, like you're in, you're still in the same world and uh, the camera angles and all that stuff is the same uh, with the, this particular boss fight, it puts it at like this weird cut-in angle where it's not over the shoulder anymore. It's like another 30 degrees to the right. And so the two, it's kind of like almost a fighting game, almost, not direct on, at least in the boss fights that I've played. And it really makes this like cool-looking effect for this boss fight. Granted, it, sounds it, awesome. is, it is a lot of like push X a bunch of times. Oh, press Y to counter because it tells me that on screen. Which, if so, you don't like that type of stuff, stay away from it. Fight? Kind of like you can. There's free. You can move around and do whatever you want in the in the world, but it is kind of scripted to do things the way it wants you to do things. That being said, I had a fucking giant grin on my face the entire time when I was playing this fight last night. Uh, it's up on my for subscribers and people that watched last night. They were all in the chat just like going, this is amazing. Like, this is a crazy boss fight. Um, huh. And I also think I just like the assassins in the game. Uh, the, assa the story is that um, Black Mask has, has put $50 million on your head, dead or alive, and, like, all these assassins in the Batman universe are hunting you, and Batman's not really figured out what he, like, who he is, I, I think, is maybe the best way to say it. Right. Um. So, for example, like, Still of course, in all the other, himself. yeah, yeah, in all the other Batman movies, like, he has, like, the thing where you can drop someone down from something to, like, interrogate him, right? And right. in this one, he does that, but he's a little bit harsh on the guy, and he just, like, drops him into this Christmas tree with, like, all these ornaments and, like, really fucks this guy up. And, like, he's a lot harsher of a so Batman he's a, than he is He's in a the bit other more games. on this, he's, like, the needle's pointing more towards the, Hardcore vigilante than the, yeah towards like the dark knight about, yeah. right okay yeah uh, or to, towards like year one Batman where he is like actually a badass man so uh, I just to me it, it is a more fun Batman like I look at okay, the other Batmans right. and I think like yeah it's Batman like you know what to expect but this one he's like it's pretty fucked up he does some pretty harsh stuff from what I can tell um, and it's also a reintroduction of all the major characters like Killer Croc is one of the first things that you see. Um, and Batman's like, I don't know what the fuck this thing is, but I guess I'm going to fight it. And there's, it, that's kind of a cool opening to the game. He headbutts Killer Croc. We, 
like he fucking takes his head and slams it into Killer Croc's head, and he's like, "Oh, that fucking hurt!" Like that's how hardcore this Batman is, dude. He doesn't give a shit. So, Just headbutting giant Crocs. Um, I just like as I was showing some screenshots and different reviews, this seems to be floating like in that sort of C average range yeah, for a it, lot of and folks. That's the thing. I, I skimmed through a lot of those. I didn't want to watch the video reviews because they have a lot of spoilers in them of what's to come in the game, at least I think. But everyone is basically saying they didn't innovate. They didn't change the the, the formula. And, yeah, and to me it's like I look at those games and I don't want them changed. I just want another story, and that's what this is. This is another story in the same game of Arkham City. Um I mean, I agree with that's that. That's what I want, man. Like, a lot of those people docked, and this is why I don't like review scores, because they all said it's a great game. They all said that it's Batman, and you know what to expect, but they docked it so much because of, like, the fact that it is basically the same game. All right, I think so Adam Sessler I'm gonna like, says that beautifully I'm going to expect all these same thread. people to do the exact same thing when Assassin's Creed Four comes out later on. Yeah, well... We pirates are pretty innovative, man. Well, I'm just saying, you know, because I I do agree with you, but I think there's a lot of points to be given for the story. Like, the I look at some of the games I've played just this past couple of months that have been incredibly flawed, but the story is interesting yeah. or it's kept like Grand me Theft going. Auto, yeah. Grand Theft Auto, Beyond Two Souls, like the top two games I've played the last two months, I've most certainly had major issues. Like I've had yeah. problems with the game, but. It was how they presented it, what they allowed me to do. Um, that that goes really far in my book. I, I can... And there are some technical flaws with okay. this game. Like uh, I've noticed, there there's no like game crashing bugs or anything like that. But um, I'm playing with everything maxed out, which looks like the pre-rendered cutscenes that they have look like shit compared to when it actually goes into the real game. Mm -hmm. um, but since I'm playing with physics on, because uh, I have an NVIDIA card, there's things where, like, I'll go and, like, punch a guy, and his head gets stuck in the wall, and his body's just, like, flailing back and forth like this. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> and I just, like, sit there laughing. Uh, his suit also, to, to speak to kind of the aesthetics of it, like, uh -huh. his suit looks like it is kind of a year one Batman. Like, he, it's his first rendition of the suit. And I don't know if he's been working out or what's going on or, like, the younger Batman was more toned, but his fucking thighs are, like, the thickest part of his body. Chun-Li thighs? They're, they're thicker than his goddamn torso. He's got them Chun-Li thighs. And it's, like, the first thing you see is him in the Batcave, and he's just wearing, like, regular, like, sweatpants and stuff. And his goddamn thighs are incredibly large, man. It looks really weird, but it works out when he's in the suit, so... Well, Batman... Also, Alf Alfred Pennyworth makes a star appearance in the sh in the in the game. You can like go back to the Batcave and stuff, apparently too. Oh. So, so that's kind of cool. But I don't know, man. That first that first bo boss fight has me jonesing. The first like real boss fight. Did, has is me there been any reports on how long the game is in comparison to some of the other Batman's? Uh, you know, I don't know. I how long were the other Batmans? They're like twelve hour experiences. I, I think I recall the first one being at least a twenty hour for me, but that was because I was inclined did you 100 to do that? I didn't hundred percent it, but I was inclined to do a lot of the Joker's challenges and shit like that. And you know, I just it was such a fresh new game. I did not do that as much in Arkham City. Man, there the every like all that crap is back in this game. There are, instead of Riddler puzzles, since the Riddler is not, like, established, it's just called Enigma puzzles. Yeah. And, like, when you talk to him, he's not the Riddler. He's Enigma. Um, I don't know much about the game, and I don't want to know if I'm right, but my suspicion is that in the game, Gordon, uh, the police chief Gordon, doesn't recognize you as an ally in fact they don't even really consider the batman to be a thing yet okay. that's how like new he is to this world and i know that barbara is in the uh, in the game right his daughter and you have not met the joker yet so i'm thinking that the killing joke storyline comes into this and that's how you get oracle perhaps towards the end of the game because in arkham asylum you had oracle right right 
And that's like one of the my favorite storylines when it comes to like the Batman mythos or whatever. So if that's in there, that's fucking awesome. And you know the you know the Joker's gonna have like some crazy entrance into the game, right? Right. So I want to see how they introduce him. I want to see the other assassin. Ah, it's just another game I have to add to my list. I yeah. was totally uh, the, putting the Mad Hatter's in here, which is awesome because he's like one of my favorite characters. Uh, I think the Toy Maker is also in here as well, um, which is kind of cool. So I just want to see more of that game, man. Are you gonna be streaming more then? Yeah, I'll okay. I'll definitely stream. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna beat Metro Last Light today, and then once that's done, I'll I'll move on to batman i don't want to start batman and then like never go back and finish metro i understand it sounds like you're almost almost there anyway so. yeah like i think an hour or two uh more on metro for whatever the hell's gonna happen in that story but batman's awesome I'm, I'm really stoked to play more of that and i hope people aren't turned away by the review scores i hope they actually read the reviews of the fact that it's it is they're just doing that they're giving those scores because it's not it's not like a a new take on the Batman franchise. It's same old Batman. I'm gonna story. I'm gonna play it regardless. I don't think that scares I, me off. I got it for free when I bought my video card, so that's why I would have probably bought it anyways. But I would have been a little bit uh, less inclined to play it right away. Sure, that, that's but, where I'm at right now. But yeah. I I hear the praise you shower upon it, and I think. It's great, man. Yeah, I must. So, all right. Well, it's the top of the hour. Why don't we take a break and we come cool. back, talk a little bit about some of the random new shit from this week, open up the phone lines, and all that other good stuff. So, guys, thanks for joining us for the first hour of Eight Bits. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, our second hour coming at you. Don't go away. We'll be right back.